Don't you just love doing the same shit over and over and over again? Anyways, for today's commentary, I'm going to be talking about rehashing and gaming. So, let's get into it. So, rehashing and gaming has been very overdone in the past few years. And with quite a few franchises, you know, Call of Duty, Mario, you know, all the very well-known franchises that are criticized for rehashing and such. But it's not just these franchises, it's other franchises that are being criticized as well. And it's been spreading more and more. It's more and more of a canter by the year. And the reason for rehashing even happening in the first place is because of the fact that the consumer doesn't like change. The consumer likes doing the same shit and playing the same shit over and over and over again. People just love doing the same the same song and dance. Nobody likes trying something new. Everyone is it doesn't have the balls to attempt something different. And that's obviously referring to developers. And once again, it's because consumers are just too afraid to try something different. And even when they ever do ask for something different, they complain that it's too different and they want the same thing. Just look at the COD franchise. The developers tried doing something different in Advanced Warfare and look at how that turned out. Everyone was complaining and now <laughs> everyone wants the same thing that was previous COD games up until Black Ops 2 and Ghosts. So, it seems like no matter what the developers do with games, people just seem to complain no matter what. And the problem with today's modern day g gaming industry is that you need to rehash the same shit over and over and over again in order to stay relevant. That's just how it is. And by doing that, you need to have that certain same shit every year Call of Duty type of game so you can actually stay afloat. Just look at all these other corporations that are starting to go down the drain. All these other gaming publishers that are dying out because of the fact that they're not trying to do the same thing. They're trying to do something different. They're trying to branch out and they're not trying to rehash. And sure, you have indie developers that use Kickstarter funds, but that's an exception. They use, uh, they have fans help them with the budgets and such so that they have the money for that. But there's a difference between getting $30 million as an indie developer and getting $30 million as a corporation such as EA. When you're a corporation, corporation like EA, only $30 million a year? That's not good, especially with the funds that, develop, that publishers like that put, ga put into games. So, it's sad. And not even 10 years ago, you'd need to go down a route of rehashing the same shit over and over and over again. Nowadays, the only way to really survive without having to do an Assassin's Creed or Call of Duty move is by going over to mobile. And recently, Konami went over to mobile. In fact, I'll link it to an article in the description below talking about this. It's sad. <laughs> it's real sad. And I hate it. I'm one of those gamers that likes new things that wants to try new things and I'm sure that just like myself there's plenty of other gamers out there that like different things but the majority the majority rules when it comes to money and what sells and the majority prefers the same shit over something new that's just how it is anyways that's all I'd say I hope you enjoyed this commentary and I'll see you all next time until then I'm out